from enjoying lifelong protection under the United States Secret Service to commanding security teams as formidable as the Great Wall of China. Some of the world's wealthiest black individuals lead lives safeguarded from public view. For these influential figures, the need for extensive security measures transcends mere wealth. It becomes a necessity born of the risk of being targeted for crime or abduction. Consider Barack Obama, whose post-presidential life includes traveling under the watchful eye of the Secret Service. His motorcade, comprising a fleet of black SUVs with flashing lights, centers around a specially designed vehicle known as the Beast. This highly secured limousine is emblematic of the protective measures surrounding him, ensuring his safety in public engagements worldwide. The Secret Service, originally tasked with combating currency counterfeiting in 1865, expanded its role after President McKinley's assassination in 1901. Today, it stands as a premier force in safeguarding the nation's leaders, including providing lifetime protection for former presidents like Obama. Beyond physical security, these protective measures extend to meticulous planning, collaboration with local law enforcement and the deployment of advanced technologies. The aim is clear, to shield a figure of global significance from the myriad threats that accompany such prominence. Thus, for these influential individuals, security measures are not just an option, but an essential facet of their everyday lives. Cybersecurity measures are meticulously implemented to safeguard Obama's communications, ensuring the confidentiality of his correspondence and protecting his personal data from digital threats. The security agents tasked with his protection possess a blend of physical prowess and intellectual acumen adept at countering both physical and cyber threats with equal vigilance. Cyril Ramaphosa inhabits a world where his every movement is overseen by an elite security team. As the South African president, he is widely recognized as one of the most heavily guarded black leaders globally. Leading a nation fraught with complexity and volatility, Ramaphosa's security is of paramount national concern. Establishing his security detail was a meticulously planned endeavor, drawing upon the expertise of the VIP protection services. This specialized unit within the South African Police Service was established post-apartheid, tasked with protecting the president and other high-profile dignitaries. Their training regimen includes advanced driving techniques, close quarters combat and strategic threat assessment. Under Ramaphosa's presidency, security measures were significantly heightened. His security apparatus extended beyond mere bodyguards, encompassing armored vehicles, surveillance teams, and close collaboration with intelligence agencies. The president's motorcade, featuring high-performance vehicles, became a familiar sight on city streets, ready to respond swiftly and effectively to any potential threat. The choice of vehicles such as custom-made BMWs equipped with cutting-edge defensive and offensive capabilities underscored the level of security afforded to the President. This comprehensive security framework ensures Ramaphosa's safety amidst the challenges inherent to his high-profile role. These vehicles were more than mere transportation. They were mobile fortresses meticulously designed to withstand bullets, bombs and any attempts on the President's life during international peace missions. Security for the President reaches extraordinary levels, with an elite team of approximately 100 highly specialized personnel ensuring his safety around the clock. This team not only protects the President, but also upholds South Africa's hard-won democracy, a cause Cyril Ramaphosa played a pivotal role in advancing. The establishment of Ramaphosa's security detail sent a clear message that the South African government left nothing to chance. Every public appearance, international trip and movement was meticulously planned and executed with military precision. Operating on the principle that offence is the best defence, the President's security team maintained a proactive stance, staying ahead of potential threats at all times. Floyd Mayweather Jr., known as Money, is not just a boxing legend but a global icon whose presence carries inherent risks associated with fame and wealth. To mitigate these risks, Mayweather has assembled a security team comparable to those protecting some heads of state. This is no ordinary group of bodyguards. It is an elite assembly of formidable individuals chosen for their expertise, loyalty and ability to navigate Mayweather's high-profile world seamlessly. Among them are well-known figures like Alfonso Reddick, Adam Plant, Pat Walsh and Donald Monks. 
At the core of Mayweather's security are individuals often referred to as the Great Wall, reflecting their imposing physical stature. These are not just large individuals, but highly skilled professionals with backgrounds in law enforcement, military service, or private security. Each member undergoes rigorous selection from elite military units like the Navy SEALs or top police forces known for tactical proficiency. Once chosen, they undergo intensive training in defensive tactics, emergency response, crowd control, and advanced driving techniques. Their training regimen is ongoing, preparing them to handle any situation swiftly and decisively. Beyond their physical presence and tactical expertise, Mayweather's security team operates with military-like precision. They conduct thorough advance work, scouting locations, and establishing protocols for every conceivable scenario. They coordinate closely with venue security, law enforcement, and event organizers to create a seamless protective shield around Mayweather at high-profile events, ensuring his safety and peace of mind wherever he goes. Beyonce, once a member of Destiny's Child, and Jay-Z, rising as a rap mogul, initially had modest security measures that evolved as their fame and the attendant attention, both desired and unwanted, intensified over the years. Their security needs escalated significantly by the time they married in 2008, expanding beyond personal protection to safeguard their growing family and their joint brand. A pivotal incident in 2013, where Beyoncé was pulled from stage, underscored their vulnerability and prompted a swift response from Jay-Z. He enlisted five former intelligence agents, renowned for their ability to foresee and neutralize threats. As they embarked on their on-the-run tour in 2014, their security detail had transformed into a substantial private army. The recruitment of 500 security personnel was not merely symbolic. It signaled a resolute commitment to safeguarding Beyoncé, Jay-Z and their daughter, Blue Ivy. The core team of 16 personal bodyguards was just the nucleus of a larger security apparatus, encompassing specialists in crowd control and anti-stage invasion tactics. These professionals were meticulously chosen for their diverse skill sets, including former law enforcement, crowd management experts, and close protection operatives. Operating discreetly, yet ever vigilant, these specialists blended seamlessly into their surroundings, ready to respond instantaneously. Their security measures continued to expand alongside their increasing fame and the rising value of their personal brand. By 2018, their Hollywood residence had been fortified into a stronghold complete with round-the-clock security, ensuring impenetrability. The acquisition of two military-grade bomb-proof vehicles for their convoy underscored the perceived risks and their commitment to mitigating them. Their security framework extended into the digital realm, with cybersecurity experts dedicated to shielding Beyoncé and Jay-Z from online threats that could compromise their privacy or safety. Their team also boasted drivers skilled in evasive driving, medical personnel prepared for emergencies, and specialists in handling hazardous materials. President Emerson Mnangagwa, who assumed office in Zimbabwe on November 24, 2017, oversees one of the most formidable security details ever assembled for a national leader. His security team, emblematic of his background in revolutionary politics and his rise to power following a coup, underscores the gravity of his role in a nation historically marked by political volatility. Comprised of elite personnel drawn from Zimbabwe's top military and intelligence units, these guards are chosen not only for their exceptional skills, but also for their unwavering loyalty. They serve not just as protectors, but as constant companions and shields for the president. Amidst the myriad threats inherent to leading a politically complex and often turbulent nation, President Manangagwa's armoured limousine stands as a pinnacle of security engineering. It blends luxury with cutting-edge defensive features, rendering it impervious to bullets and resilient against explosives, thereby safeguarding the president during his travels. The accompanying convoy is equally impressive, featuring armoured Mercedes-Benz vehicles and land cruisers, each equipped to serve as a secure stronghold manned by vigilant bodyguards and support personnel. The motorcade's tactical formation is led by swift motorbikes, whose riders possess the expertise to anticipate and neutralise potential threats, ensuring safe passage through any environment. Behind the scenes, an extensive array of communication devices, surveillance tools and advanced weaponry supports the security details operations, forming a robust defence mechanism ready to counter any conceivable threat. 
Operating within a strict hierarchical structure, every team member understands their crucial role, from sharp-eyed snipers to medics prepared for emergencies. This highly organized and skilled team works in unison to protect President Manangagwa, a leader who has ascended through Zimbabwe's political ranks, embodying the nation's resilience and determination. President Paul Bia of Cameroon, who has held office since November 6, 1982, commands one of the most secure and sophisticated security details among global leaders. His enduring tenure as one of the world's longest-serving non-royal leaders is matched by the unparalleled protection he receives. At the core of his security team are elite bodyguards selected not only for their unwavering loyalty but also for their exceptional expertise in close protection and combat strategies. These highly trained professionals ensure that any potential threat to President Bia is swiftly and decisively neutralized. The presidential motorcade, symbolizing both opulence and security, features a fleet of armored Range Rover Sentinels, each capable of withstanding ballistic assaults and explosions. These vehicles, costing approximately $500,000 each, function as mobile fortresses, providing President Bia with unmatched security and confidence as he navigates even the most unstable situations. Public appearances by President Bia prompt further escalation of security measures. With the motorcade supplemented by high-speed land cruisers and Mercedes-Benz cars meticulously orchestrated to minimize risks, routes are meticulously planned and constantly monitored for potential dangers, with contingency plans in place for rapid route changes if necessary. Advanced technology supplements the physical presence of the security team, ensuring comprehensive protection around the clock. Cutting-edge surveillance systems, advanced communication setups and sophisticated jamming devices are deployed to fortify the President's surroundings. Highly skilled snipers are strategically positioned and stringent no-fly zones are enforced to safeguard airspace integrity during significant events. The meticulous planning of security details extends to all public engagements, involving close collaboration with local law enforcement to secure venues, manage crowds and ensure swift responses to any emergencies. These extensive measures underline the paramount importance of safeguarding President Beer, who has steered Cameroon for over four decades and whose motorcade ranks among the most fortified in Africa. Paul Kagame's journey began amidst hardship as a refugee in Uganda, where he cultivated leadership skills that would define his future presidency. Emerging as a prominent figure within the Rwandan Patriotic Front, RPF, an armed movement of Rwandan exiles, Kagame's mission was to secure their right to return home and unify a nation divided by ethnic strife. In 1990, Kagame assumed leadership of the RPF during a pivotal offensive aimed at ending Rwanda's entrenched regime. His strategic command proved instrumental in halting the 1994 genocide and concluding the Rwandan Civil War, leading to his roles as Vice President and Minister of Defence in the post-war reconstruction. Elevated to the presidency in 2000, Kagame navigated complex challenges in post-genocide Rwanda and regional dynamics within the Great Lakes region. His tenure marked a transformative era for Rwanda, accompanied by the meticulous formation of an elite security team born from the imperative to protect against lingering threats and ensure stability. Security for President Kagame is a paramount concern, reflected in the rigorous training of his elite detail, blending military precision with intelligence expertise. These professionals are not merely bodyguards. They embody Rwanda's commitment to safeguarding its leader and national stability. The armored Range Rover Sentinels used by Kagame, each valued at half a million dollars, exemplify Rwanda's commitment to safeguarding its president with top-tier protection. These vehicles are fortified to endure direct assaults, ensuring Kagame's safety during his travels. The elite security team stands as a testament to Rwanda's resilience and dedication to maintaining peace and stability, preventing any resurgence of past horrors. Established in tandem with Kagame's journey from refugee to national leader, their formation mirrors his trajectory from vulnerability to invincibility. As Kagame's international prominence grew, so did the sophistication of his security apparatus, extending their watchful presence beyond Rwanda's borders to wherever the president travels. The motorcade accompanying Paul Kagame 
include security motorbikes, high-speed Mercedes-Benz vehicles and land cruisers, alongside numerous bodyguards providing comprehensive protection. Their discreet yet vigilant oversight underscores Rwanda's unwavering commitment to safeguarding its leader under all circumstances. Uhuru Kenyatta, Kenya's president since 2013 and re-elected in 2017 following a rerun, securing 39.03% of the vote, is one of Africa's most securely guarded leaders. The security measures around him have become a matter of national importance since his ascension to office. Kenyatta's security detail is anchored by the Presidential Escort Unit, an elite branch of the Kenya Police Service renowned for its members' exceptional abilities and unwavering loyalty. Rigorous and covert training equips them to operate as silent protectors, shielding the president from any threats. His armoured land cruiser, outfitted with cutting-edge defence and communication systems, serves as a mobile fortress within his motorcade. This formidable convoy includes 10 high-speed motorbikes as the initial defence line, manned by skilled riders adept in evasive manoeuvres and rapid response tactics. Seven high-speed Toyota SUVs function as mobile command centres equipped for emergency response and tactical coordination. Completing the motorcade are the Mercedes-Benz X-Class and Range Rover vehicles, integral to the strategic formation that ensures comprehensive protection for President Kenyatta from all directions. Kenyatta's personal security detail comprises over 10 highly skilled individuals trained in close protection, steadfastly accompanying the president and vigilantly scanning for potential threats. They are equipped to swiftly draw concealed weapons when necessary. Additionally, this elite team is entrusted with intelligence gathering, threat analysis and risk assessment, collaborating seamlessly with various other security agencies. Their protective responsibilities extend to safeguarding the first family and visiting dignitaries with the same level of precision and dedication. Among African presidential security hierarchies, Uhuru Kenyatta's team is renowned for its proficiency and expertise. King Mohammed VI of Morocco, recognized as one of the world's wealthiest monarchs with an estimated net worth ranging from 2.1 billion to 8.2 billion, commands a security team commensurate with his immense fortune. His safety is of paramount importance, reflected in the formidable measures taken by his security detail. Central to his protection is the Moroccan Royal Guard, an elite force selected for their unwavering loyalty and exceptional skills. These guardians are dedicated to ensuring the safety not only of the king, but also of his influential royal family and their expansive residences. Their intensive training equips them as adept warriors proficient in counter-terrorism, crowd control and advanced surveillance techniques poised to neutralize any potential threat. The King's security operations are characterized by precision and intelligence, supported by an elite covert intelligence unit that proactively identifies and mitigates risks to his safety. They meticulously analyze security data and coordinate the King's movements with strategic precision ensuring his well-being in every circumstance. The King's motorcade consists of armoured luxury vehicles such as Mercedes-Benz and Range Rovers for official transport, supplemented by armoured BMWs and communication-equipped Humvees for enhanced security needs. This convoy symbolises a mobile fortress, underscoring both the King's economic power and Morocco's unwavering commitment to safeguarding its sovereign. King Mohammed VI's security team not only provides protective services, but also exemplifies the wealth and influence he commands, both domestically and on the global stage, affirming Morocco's dedication to leadership safety and national stability. If you want to see more content like this, click on one of the cards on the screen.